We have this nice but tricky geometry problem. This is a square of side length 10, and all of these four curves are quarter circles. Our job is to find the area of this blue region. Also note that you cannot use integration and trigonometry to answer this question. Use only pure geometry. So, can you solve it? Using symmetry, let us label all of these areas as A, these as B, and this one as C. Also, just to generalize this question, let us label the side length of this square as R. So it is crystal clear that the area of this square, or R square, equals 4 times A plus 4 times B plus C. Now consider this quarter circle. Its area is equal to 2 times A plus 3 times B plus C. But it is also equal to pi R square by 4. So this way we now have two equations, but we have three unknowns, A, B, and C. We need one more equation. So here comes the magic. To find the third equation, we will calculate the area of this shape, which is equal to A plus 2 times B plus C. Now the side length of this square is R, and it is also the radius of all of these quarter circles. Therefore, this piece, which is also the radius of this quarter circle, will be r, and this piece, which is the radius of this quarter circle, will also be r. So this is an equilateral triangle, and thus both these angles will be 60 degrees. First, let us calculate the area of this piece. It will be the same as the area of this sector of the circle, minus the area of this equilateral triangle. Same goes for this piece. So this entire area equals 2 times the area of this sector minus 2 times the area of this equilateral triangle plus the area of this equilateral triangle or 2 times the area of this sector minus the area of this equilateral triangle. Look at this sector of the circle. Its area will be 60 over 360 times pi r square or pi r square by 6 and the area of this equilateral triangle will be root 3 over 4 times r square. So the area of this region is 2 times pi r square by 6, or pi r square by 3 minus root 3 over 4 times r square, and this will be equal to a plus 2 times b plus c. Awesome. Now just subtract this equation with this one to get a plus b equals pi r square by 4 minus pi r square by 3 or minus pi r square by 12. And this plus root 3 by 4 r square. Now this part is so nice because we do not need to find the value of a or b in order to find the value of c because having the value of a plus b is simply enough. See this equation, c will be equal to r square minus 4 times a plus b or r square minus 4 times root 3 by 4 r square plus 4 times pi r square by 12 or r square plus pi r square by 3 minus root 3 r square. Take r square as common and this will be 1 minus root 3 plus pi by 3 and that's it. Just substitute r as 10 and this will be 100 times this or in decimal it will be 31.52. Don't forget to put square units. Were you able to solve it? So, goo!